Greyhound was directed by Aaron Schneider and stars Tom Hanks and comes out on Apple TV Plus this Friday. From a screenplay that Tom Hanks wrote, early in World War II, an experienced U.S. Navy captain must lead an allied convoy being stalked by Nazi U-boat wolf packs. This film was initially pushed back and then eventually because of the pandemic, it is now being dropped on Apple TV Plus. Hanks wrote the script, as I said. The last time he wrote a movie was Larry Crown, a film he also directed. He also wrote and directed That Thing You Do, so this is not the first time he's ever written a screenplay, but this is the first time that he's written a screenplay that he did not direct. Get Low, the 2009 film, was the last time Aaron Schneider made a movie. That was 11 years ago. This is also the first time that Hanks has ever tackled writing a film of this nature. His previous two films were very lighthearted movies, whereas this is more of a somber film about the horrors of war. Unfortunately for me, basically nothing about this movie really connects. The characterization being one of the weakest elements. There's one scene early on in the film where Tom Hanks is talking with Elizabeth Shue, a woman he would like to marry, but he's got to go out on his boat mission, so he has to leave her back home. He has a Bible on the boat, he prays a lot, and from time to time, his feet bleed. As far as characterization goes, that's it. And it's a film that keeps asking us to care about characters who are being thrown into life-threatening situations, but we don't because we have no idea who any of them are. My friend who watched the film with me described it as relentless but repetitive. There's basically non-stop situations that keep occurring. There'll be one U-boat that's firing upon them, and then here comes a torpedo from another one, and when that's done, there's a fire they have to put out, and maybe one of the captain's friends died along the way. And it's like that constantly without anything new. There's nothing compelling thrown into the mix. When you think about other films of this nature, like, say, Hunt for Red October, that's a movie that has all of the things that this movie has, but it also has Sean Connery as someone who may or may not be defecting from his country and you don't know what his plans are. There's a lot of mystery there, and when you throw Alec Baldwin as Jack Ryan into the mix, suddenly things are really exciting. Or a film like, say, Crimson Tide with Denzel Washington and Gene Hackman. That's a movie about nuclear bombs that's on a submarine. One man believes, I need to launch these things. The other man is like, no, you fucking don't. That's really exciting. And what's interesting is that Greyhound has almost wall-to-wall -wall action, a lot more action than films like Crimson Tide or Hunt for Red October, but it has none of the character or the drama of the situations that those films do. And so because of that, the film feels really dull. Greyhound is a movie about ordinary heroism. Now, obviously, the men who really went on these missions are to be commended, of course, but not everything has to be a movie. There's a reason that movies like Hacksaw Ridge get made, or Schindler's List, because it takes an extraordinary situation or an extraordinary person who did something massive in the face of all-out evil. Whereas in this movie, Tom Hanks plays a captain who deals with a lot of life-threatening situations as best as possible. There's nothing terribly investing about that. And since the characterization is so weak, the film overcompensates with constant plot and constant situations because there is no character, so the plot has to control what these people do because they're basically just mannequins who are operating this boat. And the direction has nowhere near as much energy as it should. It's a film that feels like it should really be moving especially since there's so many things always happening. But it never feels that way because the film's idea of characterization is when Tom Hanks is writing a letter, his pencil breaks and he's got to sharpen it. Yeah, that's good. I'll, I'll keep writing. Or the cook on the ship who keeps preparing meals for Tom Hanks because he notices that he's not eating. And he just keeps making meals over and over again and Tom Hanks never eats them. It's very awkward, actually. I knew there was an issue when I saw that a World War II era war film on a boat with Tom Hanks is only 90 minutes long. That's a bit of a red flag. The best way that I can describe Greyhound is that it's probably going to be your grandpa's favorite new movie. I'm gonna give Greyhound a C. This is just a very dull movie, and I can understand why they decided to release it on Apple TV Plus, because it's the type of movie that you watch and you respect, and then you instantly forget about. It has no staying power. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to my Indiana Jones series continuing this weekend. On Sunday, I'll have a review for Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. You guys are the best. Thank you again for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.